students, welcome to our third quarter science lesson. I am your grade 10 science teacher, Mrs. Mary Joy I. Escamillas. Let us start our learning with a positive mindset. The lesson for today is about the role of hormones involved in female and male reproductive system. The human body is made up of different systems that coordinate with one another to perform their functions well. And if any part of this organ malfunction, the body will become unbalanced. And the system involved in sexual reproduction is called reproductive system. There is a striking difference between the male and the female reproductive system. Although they also share a number of similarities. Now, let us now be familiarized with the different parts of reproductive system. cycles are controlled by the interaction of hormones from the hypothalamus and the anterior pituitary gland with hormones from reproductive system, brain and hypothalamus. What are hormones? Hormones are chemical substances that act like messenger molecules in the body and secreted by endocrine glands directly into the blood. Hormones plays a vital role in individual's growth and development, metabolism, reproduction, mood, and sexual function. Hormones play a vital role during the development of male and female during the puberty stage. Hor hormones help the body to perform and regulate different processes that are needed to maintain this balance. Sex hormones are responsible for driving puberty or sexual development. Puberty and reproductive systems controlled by the hormones of the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is a small region of brain that is located at the base of the brain near the pituitary gland. Hypothalamus plays a crucial role in many important functions, including the releasing of hormones. The puberty begins when hypothalamus start to release the GnRH or the gonadotropin hormones and travels to the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is a small gland under the brain that produces hormones that control other glands throughout the body. The release of gonadotropin hormone from the hypothalamus triggers the release of two puberty hormones at the pituitary gland. Those are the luteinizing hormone and the follicle-stimulating hormone. The luteinizing hormone or the LH and the FSH or the follicle-stimulating hormone acts as a primary reproductive organs for ovaries in female and testes in males. For the regulation of reproductive hormone secretion in males, once the pituitary gland releases the luteinizing hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone, it will travel into the male reproductive system. The hormones travel through the bloodstream to the testes and the luteinizing hormone stimulates testosterone production. Testosterone is a hormone produced by the human body and it's mainly produced in men by the testicles. Follicle-stimulating hormones enters the testis and stimulate the serotonin cells to begin facilitating spermatogenesis using negative feedback. Luteinizing hormone also enters into the testis and stimulates the interstitial cells of Leydig to make and release testosterone into the testes and in the blood. We have different functions of hormones of testosterone. Those are the following. We have stimulated spermatogenesis, responsible for the secondary sex 
characteristic like deepening of the voice, the growth of your facial axillary, and pubic hair, and the beginning of your sexual urge. And I'm sure at your age that most of you men are already experiencing different changes in your body right now. Let's go to re regulation of reproductive hormone secretion in females. The female reproductive system is also regulated by hormones. The gonadotropin hormone from hypothalamus stimulates the pituitary gland to release the hormones, follicle-stimulating hormones and the luteinizing hormones into the ovaries. The luteinizing hormones and the follicle-stimulating hormones stimulates the ovaries to produce estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen is the reproductive hormones in females that have different functions like assist in endometrial regrowth, ovulation, calcium absorption, and it's responsible for secondary sexual characteristics like breast development, widening of hips, and also part of it is the shorter period necessary for bone maturation. And it's also helped to control the menstrual cycle and it's important in childbearing. While we have different functions of progesterone, like helps repair the female body for conception and pregnancy, triggers the lining of the uterus to accept a personalized egg, and also regulates the monthly menstrual cycle. It is important to remember that hormone secretions affect the development of both female and male body, physically, emotionally, during the puberty stage. Let's have a summary of what we have discussed for today. So, hypothalamus in our brain is the re responsible for the releasing of GnRH hormones or the gonadotropin hormones, which triggers the anterior pituitary gland to release the two hormones, which are the follicle-stimulating hormones and the luteinizing hormones. And these two hormones is responsible for testes to produce testosterone and also for ovary to produce estrogen and progesterone. Now, let's us be familiarized with the different reproductive hormone disorders. change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. I hope you learned something. Till our next lesson, students. Thank you.